Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, the Split CJY, and this video almost didn't happen because I dropped the subject of the video in my parking lot. This is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter, uh, the infamous dongle that allows you to still listen to music via wired headphones on your smartphone when there is no headphone jack. Uh, I have a Pixel phone for work and now a Pixel 2 and I use this, this a lot because actually the original Pixel had issues with the headphone jack, ironically. So this one I've been using for probably over two years and it finally gave its last waveform like two days ago. Uh, I'm using a, a new one now and it's working so it is the, this not the actual jack on the pixel which is good uh, but I've always wondered what the inside of one of these things looks like and since this is dead we can just you know kind of have at it uh, so I think we're gonna just do a nitty gritty tear down just to kind of see what's going on inside all right so this is the adapter USB-C to headphone uh, and Basically, we're just gonna... Uh, I think the way we'll approach this is we're just gonna kind of slice open the housing, just kind of see what's going on, and uh, kind of go from there. So let's begin. Slicing away from myself. I wonder if I just kind of cut it almost like a like a piece of meat here to cut it away from the plug because I imagine the actual plug and I'm going slowly so that I don't oh yeah here we go let's go to the other side too this side is harder probably just an age thing I might be able to kind of Pull it away. There we go. Okay. And this should, in theory, just kind of. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. I just want to kind of cut this part away. Totally. There we go. So I'm just cutting away the housing. I don't want to cut the cable because I want that to kind of stay intact. So I'm just cutting away the kind of rubber housing. And it looks like this is kind of working as kind of a cable protector. It isn't the actual cable, so I should be able to slice that off and we'll be able to see what's happening. So it looks like this bit is actually plastic, whereas the other was kind of this more silicone rubber. Now let's go to this end, then we can take a closer look. Some of the, the rubber has kind of hardened over time, just with age and being bounced around. Here, oh, that's gorgeous, okay. For some reason that, it's not cutting all the way through here. Maybe, seems to really not want to give here. I think it looks like it's an actual plastic bit here. Yeah, it's an actual plastic bit. Keep in mind that this doesn't need to stay intact, obviously, but I also kind of want to keep it fairly intact so that we can at least kind of see what's going on, or what was going on. So I think 
we can at least get an idea. Let's come in a bit. So this is the USB-C portion. And you can see there's definitely some circuitry happening. Like that's a cap, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm curious if I can break into that. See how easy though it would be for it just to ha start having problems if this gets swung around enough. Even though this is pretty compact, this part was always kind of flimsy and you just have wire going there. I mean, it's gonna, stuff's gonna come loose. Just the nature of headphones, I mean headphones even, your cheaper pairs will um, start to kind of lose signal and everything just from being bent around and everything like that. And then over here we have a pretty hardy headphone jack. So that was some shielding. And then we see an actual kind of headphone jack. You can see the circuitry. If you've ever used a breadboardy one or anything. So it looks like this is just a straight headphone jack soldered to, to here. So the logic's all happening here, it seems like. Let's see if we can break into this. <laughs> Trying to see how best we can attack this. Probably be better if I cut it out of here. So let's let's just break it free here. Okay, that took nothing. <laughs> I think these got loose. I think that's what happened here. Okay, so I'm just peeling off some shielding tape. So after sheer brute force of just shredding off the metal housing with some sadly abused tools. Um, we have the actual PCB for the USB-C to audio. So it's definitely wrapped in this like tape and it feels like it's kind of encased in this kind of resin material. So I'm gonna try to peel off the tape and see if we can kind of get a better idea of what's going on with this silicone here. And I promise you didn't miss anything with the metal being brutally sheared off, just as you really probably aren't missing too much here with me peeling the tape. My goal here is just to kind of you know, take a gander. I'm not expecting to see anything groundbreaking. Oh, I think I am peeling the resin off. Wow, okay. We're getting there. Oh, so aggressive. Okay, oh, here we go. Ha <laughs> Let's come in for a closer look. Okay, so there is the board. Board. Looks like we've got a big IC here. I assume that's probably the USB logic. I'll put the uh, names up on the screen. I don't think we need to diagnose it fully. Uh, and then on the back, we've got, it looks like one IC there. I'd assume that's probably the audio codec. And then we've got Probably an op amp. It looks kind of like an op amp, maybe. I actually ripped some of the USB C metal. Wow. Fascinating. So I was carrying this around in this little housing the whole time. Uh, more pro this, I guess. Interesting. All right. Just a quick uh, and kind of aggressive teardown. Uh, if you like this video, toss me a thumbs up, leave a question or comments down below. I'll have links to data sheets, if applicable, uh, down in the description. Uh, but thank you for watching. So subscribe to more content like this. I've got a few other teardowns that won't be as violent planned. Uh, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.